I wondered if you'd notice. Uh, where's the urn? Did you lay your son to rest? I'd not say my last goodbyes without telling you. No, he's still with me. But the urn itself I disposed of. It's Yujif tradition, you see. Keeping the remains of the fallen in fine wrought urns. But my boy, I had not much left of him. Only the smallest of bones. Now, however, those bones rest at my very heart. I asked the young lady Yufa to craft for me a necklace that I might keep them ever close and safe. Wherever I go, and whatever I do, I shall wear this always. He will never leave my side again. I mustn't turn my eyes from my son's passing. Nor will I surrender his memory to Earth, left to rest in some place far beyond my heart's reach. No. I have but one course. I will carry my son with me, and we will change this burden of oppression against our people. Until that day comes, when we change this world for the better, I will fight with my son at my side and in my heart. I'm sure that's what your son would want. Yes, I think so too. It will be no easy path. But I have made my decision. Thanks to you. We two have spoken of much, eh? <laughs> Sometimes it's felt as though my son himself has been advising me. And I... Well... I've been through no small pains on this endeavor. But it was that experience that brought me to my decision. I'm honored. It's because of the perspective we share. That's how I found a way forward. One I'll not regret. You are the only one who can create a world fit for my son to rest. Lad, my hopes rest with you. And I will see them protected, even should it cost me my life. I'll be counting on you. Of course. You may leave it in my hands. After all this, you are like a son to me yourself, you know. Your life, your ideals, I will protect them as my own. Another toast, then. To us. To my son. And to the children. And their future. The aloof hermit, Heisme. Keeper and heritor of the thief's virtues. By the grace of his newfound powers, work together to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. I will never forget how this drink tasted tonight. You should let me hear some of your stories too, eh? Just every now and then. They need not be grand tales. Even passing thoughts are fine. These moments we have, however we spend them, to me, they are precious indeed. I can't remember the last time I felt this way. To think of my future and look forward to what awaits. 